Hallelujah, hallelujah. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, we should peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are remembering St. Augustine Zhao Rong and his companions. And so, on behalf of them and the blood that they shed, and on behalf of the Chinese people, I uh, make warning to Chinese government not to oppress the Catholic Church. I make this warning not because of any power that I have, but because they're messing with God. Don't mess with God. Don't oppress the Catholic Church. Don't oppress them and take away the freedom of worship and religion and put in your own government ideas. It's wrong. These men that we remember today, St. Augustine Rao is so wrong and his companions. They shed their blood for a true religion, not for a fake religion created by men, but for a religion that's revealed by God himself. It's not of our own making or creation. It's, it's not a human invention. And so beware. You cannot dictate to those who are true believers what the objects of faith will be, or the contents of the faith. You can't do that. And if you do, you're risking the wrath of God. And so for your own sake, I beg you, please, do not do that. Remember that God created not only me, and it's not just my belief, but he created you as well, whether you like it or not. And that God is not just some abstraction, just some philosophical idea. But he's an actual creator and a being and, and a person, in fact, three persons. Yes, indeed. Beware of what you're doing. Certainly God loves you and wants to take you to himself. But if you start to oppress the word of God, terrible things can happen. You have to remember, look what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Jesus himself, who was God and still is God, says, Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Think of that. In the towns of Sodom and Gomorrah, they didn't want to obey the laws of God. They wanted to do things their own way. And they wanted to oppress the believers that were in their towns. And they were oppressing them badly. And now these towns no longer exist. And we can even go, you can even go to the place and see where they used to exist. And all that's left is ash. Now, is this the same God, the God of the Old Testament, as Jesus? Yes. 
I and the Father are one. Now maybe he's not going to rain down fire on you in the same way. But there are other things. So be aware and know that God has given you many gifts. has given your nation many gifts. And our nation as well. We must be thankful for them and allow people to have freedom of religion in the country so that they can worship God in the way that's been passed down either by their ancestors or by those who came with the true revealed religion and revealed it to them. But if not, if there is a decision to continue to oppress the believers of China, they are willing to give their lives to testify to the truth. Just as the martyrs did in the ancient pagan days of Rome. Just as the various martyrs did throughout the centuries. They will shed their blood and witness. And some already have. In fact, in uh, today's memory of St. Augustine Zaurang, his companions numbered over 35,000. And that was just a few centuries ago. You know, brothers and sisters, you and I should always remember that even those who do not have the faith are often, very often, willing to give their lives for what they believe in or for what they hold to be their cause. And many have given their lives. So should it be a, a huge leap for us to think that God might want us to be willing to offer up our lives for the sake of of his cause, which is the salvation of souls. It's not a huge leap. God might want us to do that. And so every day, let's prepare ourselves in case God wants us to do something like that. And be ready. Be ready to witness to the truth of Jesus Christ, to witness to the gospel, witness to the knowledge that has been passed down to us that God loves every soul he created and wants to save them and bring them to himself. And let's never forget that and let us give thanks today to these martyrs that we remember and give thanks to God that he has called us into this most sublime and beautiful faith which cannot be destroyed. Yes, it can be diminished, but it cannot be destroyed. So mark and remember Anyone who wishes to oppress the church is messing with God. Not such a good idea. <laughs>